finally the moment you've all been waiting for. The Blood Moon. I'm sorry for that climactic ending cliffhanger of the last episode, but this is the new episode of the Terraria series. This is as several they were giving here, reporting the Blood Moon. And it is freaking crazy insane. I know it's pretty much useless now to me since, um, freaking, there's, a uh, so many, there's, there's so many, I don't even know what I was going to say, there. there's so many, oh yeah, there's so many enemies, yeah, 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 but it's useless to me now because there is zero clown, there's zero, like, things like that. Nothing gives me a super beneficial items. The only usefulness is three lenses up the wazoo for... I have Cthulhu, and I've got the good gear, and this probably set me straight with the Blood Moon. This is extremely perfect timing. I mean, immediately after this, I can hit the freaking boss battle. So, be prepared for that soon. But, uh, right now, this is a freaking... Blood Moon Massacre right now. Freaking so many. My guide is going to die. It's going... And nope, it, it's, he's dead. He, oh, whoa. Whoa. Protectorate Pro... Oh, is he... He, uh, he just disappeared. Yep, he, he was slain. If texts don't appear, and you just saw what him physically... There were so many zombies covering over him. It just looked like he just got, like... Like, overwhelmed and just vanished. But that's my first casualty of this entire blood moon. Um I'm pretty sure every minute is an hour in this game and it is real life time and it's like twelve hours every day, twelve or twelve minutes twelve hours every day and twelve hours every night. So there's twelve minutes every day, twelve minutes every night. So by the logic of twelve minutes and this video starts at the start of the blood moon, I'm just gonna say that this entire video is gonna be about the blood moon. Maybe a little bit after. So, this video, I'm just gonna fucking pwn these zombies. Massacre. The snowball. If I didn't have the snowball cannon, guess what would be happening now? Every. I, I would. The entire. The entire world would. Be extremely laggy. You know why? Because there would be so many gravestones, the game wouldn't be able to comprehend it. And guess what? I wouldn't have any NPCs left. That's how. That's how. I, I'm probably over. I probably over exaggerate when I say that, but that's probably how. Uh, how great the snowball kidding is. It's like my sole survivor here. I mean, I'm freaking. It's 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 like freaking with its speed. It's just pushing back. The whole shit and shit bang, and that was a warding shackle. That's the best um, defense enchantment. I'm, I mean modifier. Uh, this isn't Minecraft. This is a modifier. It's the best, and it's best adjective, as some people may say. But, but warding is the best modifier for that equipment. So, for as far as defense, at least plus four highest, pretty grand. Plus four and plus one defense that the shackle naturally gives the warring shackle is pretty pretty respectable defense increase at least at this level I am with my current stuff freaking die this pl th this is pretty scary. This is like the apocalypse. The apocalypse of everything. The world is coming to an end. My entire inventory is full of rain hats. Oh my god, that's so much. I hope I find the groom or something like that. That'd be cool. Or is there any other rare zombies? There's Dr. Bones. That's also rare, but. That only appears in the jungle biome. So. That won't appear. I don't think. So. 
This freaking, this is pretty scary how it's like raining blood. I, I'm, but I'm pretty good. This is pretty easy right now. That one part where the, the entire area were, um, just overwhelming the screen. That was when it was, it got hard. But right now it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty safe. Pretty cool. Fuck you, demon eyes. I hate you. The only thing you're good for is lens and black lens. Because black lens is actually one of the best tool weapons. Uh, don't you dare! No! Get away from him! Black lens is one of the most strategical weapons in the game. Or items in the game. You know why? Because equipping it gives the sun some sunglasses. You know how that's a strategical advantage? You tell me. When your enemy, when you're, when you're PvPing, you just you just straight out and say I'm so fucking sly. The sun that provides light for us all is sly too. I know you're not wearing sunglasses, so you can't witness this shit. But trust me, look at my vanity. Or I'm not wearing vanity over top of my thing because it only works if it's base. And once he witnesses the proof of your sunglasses, then what will happen is he's gonna he's gonna be like, oh my god, that's true. And if, if you can't see, it's, uh, if there's sunglasses over the sun. That's a solar eclipse. And you know what that means? That that means freaking solar eclipse. And and get, get, he's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna die. You know why? Because for him, he can't see the sunglasses. You know. Because he's not wearing sunglasses, it only works for the wearer. But for me, I see the solar eclipse. But the solar eclipse is really happening. So he won't be witnessing the events within the solar eclipse. My opponent will freaking die from invisible vampires and all that, like, instantly. He'll be paraded with all of that crap. Die instantaneously. You know... That is so the longest I've ever <laughs> fucking went on and ranted about that is completely useless, incorrect information. Just for a comedic stretch. And a legitimate, um, legi a legitimate uh, attempt to make it sound believable. Or something that's obviously fake. I think I couldn't explain it any better myself. These zombies are getting a little overwhelming. And don't you dare kill them. I hate it when the demon eyes get up there. You know, it's either that I'm leaving the doors open or the NPCs are beginning to close them. You know, if the NPC ever forgets to close the door when they walk through, I'll be pissed off. Oh my god, a zombie arm. That's really rare. This, this blood moon is a reward. It's a reward. Don't die, merchant. Please live. It'd be cool if there was an NPC that protected other NPCs, and it's and he sold NPC armor. That would give additional defense to NPCs that you could put on NPCs. Or maybe he'd sell you armor uh, material or NPC armor. And he himself would have uh, a lot of NPC armor. It probably wouldn't be like ex like all N variants. It's probably just gonna be like one variant or two variants. The NPC armor basic, which he sells, and the NPC knight's armor that he wears that gives him the ad more additional defense. And when he dies, he has a chance to drop it. Similar to how the um, clothier drops the red hat and the, and um, stuff like that when they die. I know, I know the, the guy can drop the green hat, but only if it's under a specific name as an Easter egg. But this isn't going to be much of an Easter egg. Um, are, they, are they running away? Oh, I just realized Blood Moon's over. 
Fuck yeah. Fucking redness turns to whiteness. I demolished. Freaking destroyed that blood moon. MLG Pro. Only one cat. Only two casualties were lost. Me and my NPC fellow. What is his name? The guy? Guess what? I just noticed through process of elimination. Uh, technically, the next NPC that should appear is the nurse because I did get a few life hearts. And I only have four. I only have one available room, so I might live without the guy for a bit. It's stupid, but we'll get back to it when I can. I'm gonna be right now. I'm just gonna be forming up my 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 stuff. You know, I I got stuff. I'm gonna be making freaking beautiful. Beautiful armor. That's, that's gonna fucking. It's gonna destroy the competition. It's gonna make me 100 per, percent be able to destroy the I Cthulhu. He will have no chance against me. Like zero. He. I, I'm. I'm practically Skeletron level. Not like freaking. I'm going to be because. Whatever. Check over the stuff. I, I could make an emerald staff, but um, I might not because tungsten is looking pretty tempting. Oh, what the hell! <laughs> Boom! I cannot make the emerald stuff anymore. I I I threw the chance to make uh, a, a, a good weapon for defense because freaking defense is big. It means above all else. I I think that anagram or yeah I think it's they're called anagrams right? I don't know, uh, but that anagram is incorrect because a but a bay um is stands for above all else but guess what above is not a word but above is so i'm gonna call it it's a and it's also a reference to fonzie yeah i don't even know who he is he just referenced on like shows i watched like family guy i am not a hipster brah oh my god i have so many rain hats and not one raincoat. That's stupid. Um, I'm just gonna organize some stuff. I have like 16 defense. That is extremely good. I mean, like that's pro level at this. This is like speed run to the max. I mean, totally, 100%. Tot. 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 I don't know. I've never used that word ever before. I think sliding just runs off of, runs to people from retarded, stereotypical teenagers. And he's like, oh my god, that's a bomb. And all that stuff, so. I don't even know what I'm ranting on about. I should be talking about more about the Rari. So, I'm just organizing things. It's not that cool, but this is all an ultimate preparation for the battle that is going to be held next game, or next episode. So, it's all 100% worth it. Got some great potions. I am 100% done deal. I will destroy. Destroy freaking Eye of Cthulhu. He is nothing. He is nothing. <sighs> I 
I'm sorry again. The preparation hour is pretty pretty boring, but this has been Civil Duel Gaming here. Get ready for the next episode. It's on the way. Don't miss it. It's exciting.